Let's now look at some biblical examples on this subject. I'd like us to consider David and learn how he anticipated the rainbow. David actually saw the rainbow before the storm. 1 Samuel chapter 17 records one of the dramatic events in the Bible. The Philistines gather their armies for war at Soko in Judah. Saul and the Israelites also gathered at a valley called Elah to fight the Philistines. The Philistines had a champion fighter called Goliath. He was nine feet, four inches tall. He had a bronze helmet and a bronze armor that weighed 56 kilograms. Now, 56 kilograms is like one bag of rice in this larger size, right? This man was like a monster. He wore bronze protectors on his leg and had bronze spear on his back. This man stood right there and told them to choose a man and send him to oppose him. The Bible says when King Saul heard this, he was so scared that he was willing to give his daughter and much money to whoever kills him. Now, the entire nation lost hope and was mourning. Then a young man named David came to the scene and as he watched his own people cry unconsolably, he saw the hopelessness and frustration in their eyes. The people had foreseen no rainbow and that explains why they were all hopeless. <laughs> Instead of joining the pity party, David asked, what will be done to the man who kills this Philistine? Can you imagine that? It takes one who had foreseen the rainbow to make such statements like that, especially in a time of despair. But David was one of a kind. He had determined the outcome even before the battle with the enemy. To him, Goliath was already dead, so he had much confidence that he would win. He was so certain that he was now consoling Saul, saying that don't let anyone be discouraged. I will go and fight this Philistine. Saul tried to stop him, tried to convince him and show him how big the storm was, how big Goliath was. But David paused for a moment and showed him the rainbow. The rainbow that the God, oh boy, brace yourself, brace yourself, that the God who delivered him from a lion and a bear will deliver him from this Philistine. Listen to me, somebody. Sometimes you make too much noise. Telling the entire world how miserable you are, how life has been so unfair to you, just to get people to empathize with you, just to get people to mourn with you, just to get people to attend to your pity parties. But can I say this? You gotta reach a level where you make up your mind that instead of crying to God and telling him how big the storm is, how big the problem is, you're gonna step out and cry out loud to the storm and tell the storm how big your God is. Can I get an amen? amen? What storms are you in right now? Is it a storm of delay? You're in a storm of delay if it takes longer than usual to get what you want. Maybe you applied for a job in a certain company with your friends. You all have the same level of education, the same skill set, the same resume style with similar qualities. And strangely, they all got hired except you. Hmm. Isn't that strange? I understand there might be a lot of factors associated with you not getting hired. 
you know but should this happen to you like five or six times man that's bizarre that's super weird something is wrong that's a storm a storm of delay in the same way if you are the elder sibling and all your younger siblings are getting married except you well guess what storm you in you're right a storm of delay are you in a storm of barrenness take a moment right now and look back over the last five years of your life through it all is your life static are you where you've always been no progress at all wearing what you've been wearing driving what you've been driving and living where you've been living for over five to ten years of your life if you haven't given birth to any new thing you can identify then man you are in a storm a storm of barrenness it's like you are completely stuck in one spot you can't move you can't move forward you can't get ahead everybody around you seems to make progress except you if this is you chances are you're in a storm a storm of barrenness to be precise are you in a storm of sorrow do you experience sudden deaths of relatives do you move from failure to failure disappointment to disappointment heartbreak to heartbreak rejection to rejection if this is you you're in a storm a storm of sorrow look the problem is not the storm you're in the problem is that you don't see the rainbow if you can see the rainbow you can endure the storm look complaining wouldn't fix it okay that only lengthens the duration of the storm the israelites complained in the wilderness and god added an extra 40 years before they could inherit the promised land look complaining wouldn't remove the storm that only makes the storm last longer but that's not fair you might say well you're right life is not fair it never was and it never has been but that doesn't mean you should always feel like a victim paul and silas were jailed for doing good they cast a demon out of a fortune teller that wasn't fair and yet they never complained instead of complaining about the situation they did what most people wouldn't normally do they praised god and as they prayed and sang hymns the supernatural happened and they were set free if you can stop complaining and anticipate the rainbow and see beyond your current storm i'll tell you what you'll be able to endure the storm and in no time you'll get enough faith to break through the storm how as you keep confessing what god is saying about your situation i want to encourage somebody today keep walking through the storm keep going through the storm keep running through the storm for your rainbow is waiting for you on the other side sometimes the pain is overwhelming so overwhelming that you cry out the lord has forsaken me the lord has forgotten me but isaiah 48 verse 17 says how can a mother forget her nursing child that she may have no compassion for the son of her womb even these may forget but i the lord will never forget you behold i have engraved you on the palms of my hands and your walls are continually before me listen god has never forsaken you and he wants to tell you today that your breakthrough is coming that healing is coming that testimony is coming 
if you would stop complaining and anticipate the rainbow. God bless you, everybody. Hey there. I know you enjoyed this video. I know you did. Come on now. Don't deny that. Don't deny that. Hit that subscribe button. Yes, hit that subscribe button. God bless you so much. I'm so happy. Now, hit that bell to turn on notifications. Come on. Hit that bell. Yes. See you in the next video.